remembered the kind words of his grandmother, Aida, encouraging him to enjoy life. Lobodo went on to a, a huge bridge and gazed with awe and wonder at the majestic river flowing to the ocean. One of Grandmother's common sense suggestions worth repeating to increase the likelihood of happiness, care about others. It's a question of mental orientation, whether your mind is orientated to misery or to equanimity. There's a Zen story about a blind man in the market. He noticed something unusual about human nature. He could tell whenever misfortune happened to someone because the people talking about the misfortune would speak in a cheerful tone of voice. And he could tell when a person had experienced good fortune because then the people talking about the good fortune would speak in a sad, jealous, resentful tone of voice. And he thought, what a strange characteristic of human nature to rejoice when someone experiences misfortune and to be sad and jealous when things go well for that person. Nobody has it easy. There's no point envying the other person. If you do see someone who appears to have it all and who's just all smiles and laughter, instead of feeling jealous, why not say, I'm glad that person is happy. And with this thought, you could participate in that happiness, and you too could be happy, as opposed to saying, eh, this, this person, eh, I don't like their attitude, they're so arrogant, they're looking down on me. Ah. Instead of that, say, wow, I really like to see that person happy, I'm happy that that person's happy, then suddenly you're happy. Mm-hmm.